John knows that the original story about his great-grandmother came down the female line. So he's decided to make the journey to Pickering in North Yorkshire to find out more from his cousin Joyce, one of the most senior women in the family. The information came from cousin Joyce. Cousin Joyce, yes, gave the information to my father. My father gave the information to my brother. <coughs> now, it's been down the female line. That's the only people that have known about it until Joyce told my father. Now, it just occurred to me, she may not have told my father everything. And I'm going to go and see Joyce. Because I will... If I think that she has got more information and I, I think she's not willing to give it away, we'll have to find a way of very sweetly twisting my 80-year-old cousin's arm. She does not give up her secrets, not, not that face. If ever I saw a face that has secrets, it's that one. I don't think she's too pleased about them. Great to see you. What I'm trying to find out is, yes. is um, if there's any more information I can get from you about Emma Stafford. About what? Emma Stafford? Yes. yes. Do you mean about being uh, illegitimate? Yeah. Yes. yes. It was kept secret until the great aunt told me. When I broached the subject with her sister out of interest, she sort of went up in the air because of the illegitimacy, you see, and the disgrace attached. She said, what made you tell, what made her tell you that? Oh, really, she yeah. was still mm. upset at that stage. She was upset, yes. It's extraordinary, isn't it, that we yeah. get ourselves into such a state that we, yes. that we, we get, mm. uh, we take it out on the, pers on the person who is illegitimate rather than the person who made them exactly. illegitimate. Exactly, yes. My understanding is that Emma Stafford Mm -hmm. is the descendant of the Marquis of, uh, of Sligo. No, I, don't, I doubt that, John. You doubt that? Yes, I doubt that. Mm. I've always understood there was an Irish connection. Oh, yes, yes. It was Walter Lord Brown, his family, that were descendants of the Marquis of Sligo. So, it's Walter who's the descendant. Yeah. But many years, you know, Previously. many generations previously, yeah. yes. Yes. Mm. Well, wow, it's a huge shift of direction, yes. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know where you and Michael got that well, idea I got from. It from Michael, oh, I see. It appears that Emma is not descended from Irish nobility. If anyone in the family is a descendant of the Marquis of Sligo, it's likely to be Walter Lord Brown. The fact that Walter's surname was the same as the Marquis's might not be such a coincidence after all. But if Emma's father isn't the Marquis or the man named on her baptism record, Edward Stafford, then who is he? Hmm. Aye, aye, aye. Have yes. a look this way. Now, I know I've seen this somewhere before. Yes. There we are, John. This was Mr. Lord, Sassy. Master of Tooting School, yeah. yes. The ancestor. The ancestor. Mm. And my great aunt told me that the ancestor was the great grandmother's father. Mr. Lord. Was her father, so the great aunt father. said, yes. Mm. That's extraordinary. The great aunt told me Emma Stafford was a first cousin of the man she later married, Walter Lord Brown. She was a cousin? A cousin, yes, and a first cousin, yes. So that, and a first cousin? A first cousin, yes. When they married, when they thought of getting married, they went to the doctors to ask if it was all right. And he said, yes, both your families are healthy. It's 
no longer to do with uh, the great grandmother of the story is who she married, which is Walter Lord Brown. More than that, we discovered that the father of Emma was the man who was known as the ancestor. And not only is he the ancestor for one, it turns out he's related to uh, both of them, because it turns out that they're first cousins. So that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot in the morning. That's changed everything. Hey. hey. <laughs> If John's great-grandparents, Walter and Emma, were first cousins, this may help him to confirm whether or not Mr. Lord really was Emma's father. John has asked professional genealogist Laura Berry to help. Well, I've brought for you the marriage certificate of Walter Lord Brown's parents. Because if they're first cousins, then Mr. Lord's sister is Walter's uh, mother. mother. That's right, yes. Let's have a look. Is that not the case? Here we are. William Richard Brown of the parish of St Mary Lambeth, bachelor, married Harriet Catherine Lord of this parish, spinster. So it's true then. They're first cousins. Well, it could be, because Harriet Lord obviously has the same surname as Mr Lord. John has discovered that Walter's mother's maiden name was Lord, the same as Emma's alleged father. It's possible, therefore, that they were siblings. And if that was the case, Walter and Emma would have been first cousins. This supports Joyce's claim that Mr. Lord was Emma's real father, and therefore that she had no Irish links. John turns his attention to Walter Lord Brown and his alleged connection to Irish aristocracy.